Hey, good morning. It's Joel Mark Witt for folkmedia.org. This is a short training video on how to block porn and spam on Twitter. What's happening lately, uh, a lot of people are new to Twitter. They're signing up for the service, and then all of a sudden they're getting followed by people. People are following them that are either porn sites or spam sites or whatever, and they're frustrated. They're like, how do I block these people? I don't want these people showing up in my follower list. So people think that it's okay for me to have these kind of people following me. So this video is designed to show you step by step how to go through and block individual accounts, people that are following you, you don't want to follow you. You don't want to be able to see your timeline and your Twitter posts. So let's go ahead and get started right now. I'll show you how to do this step by step. Okay, so we are in my Gmail account and you're looking at an email I just got a few days ago. I actually saved to be able to make this video to show you how to do this. I've gotten some uh, some complaints of people. They're so frustrated, like I said, that they're getting so much spam that they uh, they wanted to know how to block someone. And I thought, you know, the best way, I kept explaining it one, one time to one person, one time to another person. So I'm going to make a video to show people how to, how to do this. Now, I'm going to show you the long way first, and then I'll show you the short way second. Or actually, there's two ways, but I want to show you the long way because some people are already following you that you've already erased their notification messages. The short way would be come, to come down here and you would just click block this person right here. Um, but obviously, sometimes you don't know about the person until you click on their profile. You get a pretty good idea here of the person by looking and seeing they have one follower, one tweet, and they're following this many people. So either they're a very new account or they're probably a spam site. And in fact, I followed this, uh, this profile here to know that what I'm dealing with um, is in fact a spam site. So it'll take you here. You'll land on the page and you'll see that there's a few things to notice. Uh, there's one message, which is typical of a spam site. It was uh, several days ago as of this recording. Um, you can see they're following. Now they have uh, accumulated 96 followers since they got me the message, since they sent me the email message, the notification, Twitter sent. Um, 96 people have followed this person back. Some of those people could be auto-following back. They have a, a program they're using to auto-follow back. And so, in fact, that's how a lot of spammers like this person get followers. They know that people have auto-follow backs. But you'll notice there's one post here and just by the nature of the post itself you can obviously see it's it's most likely a, a porn site. I haven't followed this link through but I'm guessing by the nature of this message what could be on the other end. So I want to block this person because obviously they're they're not valuable to me as a follower. So how do I do that? Well I go up here we have to log in and uh, you should know how to do this by now if you're already have a Twitter account and you would just log in with your username and password and then once you're logged in now you'll see a little follow link if you'd wanted to follow up this person obviously we don't but if you come over here to the right there's a little uh, word here actions and right below that is message and block and this is the way you can block someone so you get into their profile and then you would click block this will take you to a page that just basically spells out what happens when you block someone you will no longer show up on the list of people that are they're following. Uh, your tweets, they can't see your tweets basically on their timeline and they won't be able to follow you. And just make sure that you uh, really do want to block this person. And click that block. And that's it. And then it'll pop up, you have blocked this person. And now they're blocked off of your, your thing. So this is a great way for you to eliminate the spammers and the por uh, porn sites that are trying to follow you and show that you know they've got you as, as one of the people they're following. It's good because it cleans out your follower list and gives you better um, uh, better quality followers, I should say, which is obviously the whole point of Twitter is to have really good quality followers and you follow really good quality people. So also just wanted to also mention if you're over in your email, if you already know they're a spammer or if you want to block them, you can block them right here. Sometimes there's really obscene uh, usernames that come up where you know uh, just by the words they use in the username, it's somebody you do not want following you. And so you could come down here and you could just click block and it would take you over to this screen where you could obviously block them. 
So that's how you block someone, whether it's porn or spam on Twitter. If you have more questions you'd like to discuss this, um, feel free to follow us on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash folk media. Or you can also email me to my personal email address, joelmarkwitt at folkmedia.org. I'd be happy to answer any questions you, you may have further. Also, just wanted to mention that I have uh, we have a new book that just came out recently called 21 Days to Twitter Leadership. It's for new Twitter uh, users, people that either just signed up for Twitter or you've been on for a very short time. It goes step by step over 21 days on how to set up and use a Twitter account and build leadership for yourself. Set yourself up as a leader in your industry or your uh, your business. So uh, you can download a free chapter at 21 days to twitterleadership.com. Just thought I'd mention that. It could be a great resource for you if you're uh, if you're needing to get started on Twitter. Thanks so much and we'll talk to you next time. Joel Mark Witt for Folk Media. Bye.